In this video, I'm going to show you how to reverse engineer a database from the SQL Server using ER Studio. Okay, like new. Okay, in this thing, go and select the reverse engineering option. Go to the login and go to the ODBC. Select the database. You should, if you have the ODBC connection, if if you don't have, then just create one. Okay, and click next. And go to the next. Okay, as you can see, it's allowing me to select the user. I'm going to going to select anyway only the user table right now. Okay, I'm going to select the next. Okay, and I'm going to finish. Select the finish right now. Okay, and it has started reverse engineering the database. Okay, now it shows that the reverse engineering has been completed, and I'm going to click the close button. And here we are. Okay, this is a circular layout of the in this thing, what you call ER Studio. Okay, now there are other layout also available. Okay, as you can see, this is circular already clicked. Okay, then we are have a hierarchical layout. Okay, then there is a orthogonal layout. Okay, and then there is a symmetrical layout. Okay, and then there is a tree layout. Whichever you prefer, you can use it. Okay, now that the uh, database has been re reverse engineered. Okay, now we can go and view it. Okay, zoom it inside. Okay, now. I will explain you only one or two concept under this database. This reverse engineering. Okay, the top part is a primary key. As you can see, all the top part is where the primary key is. Okay, okay, and the F K stands for foreign key. Okay, and uh, when there is no thing specified in the top part, then it is a primary key. Okay, now let's see what the other thing says. Okay. Okay. Now the there is two types of relationship here existing. One is the identifying relationship, and the other is non-identifying relationship. Okay. Now let's go and see what what they are. Okay. Go and click the cursor here, and then double click this option. Uh, double click this option. Okay, it says non-identifying. Okay, and it says existence is optional. Okay, cardinality is zero or one to zero or more. Okay, I will explain you all these things later. Right now, I am just going to show you. This is the non-identifying relationship, and this is the identifying relationship. Okay, the identifying relationship is actually existence is mandatory. Okay, and the uh, relationship cardinality is one to zero or more. Okay, okay. The identifying relationship is actually described with the direct line, straight line. Okay, and while the dotted line is non-identifying relationship. Okay, just for right now, this much is su sufficient. Okay, and if you see in the identifying relationship, the foreign key. Okay. Becomes a part of the primary key of the table, while in the non-identifying relationship, the foreign key exists as a part of a key, but never becoming a part of the primary key in the table. Okay, so these are all non-identifying relationship. You can see that the foreign key is not in the part of the primary key. Okay, that's it. I will stop here. Okay, I have shown you how to reverse engineer, and I have also explained you the identifying non-identifying relationship.